All right. Recap. Um, uh, recap. Recap. Uh, found. Okay. Uh, found bombs. Tried to disarm them. Didn't know how to. Sonia comes in. Wait, those aren't bombs. Actually, fireworks. Nagito played us like a fiddle. Uh, he already knew who the traitor was beforehand, anyway. Uh, and he said to meet him in the warehouse. We try to go to warehouse. It's locked. Akane busts down door. Uh, there's a fire immediately in the warehouse. Um, we try putting it out. Doesn't work. Uh, the sprinklers put it out. After waiting for the gases to dissipate, we go in. It's creepy. Um, and we find Nagito dead. Impaled by something, and also strung up like a Christmas tree. Can I ask you something, by the way? Yeah? Can you hear the music at all when we play? Um, I just have it, like, low, because I don't want to make as much noise as I are, any more noise than I already do. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, I just am trying to remember if the music is part of the investigation or not. I'll just recap if it is. Oh. I'll I don't know, if how, it is, I don't if know it, how it if would it be. Is, I don't remember, so... If it is, and there is something that happens, I will just... Just, I'll tell just me. let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're good. Alright. Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread from the center of my brain almost instantly. Just... Not damn! Control. Like... Yeah, dang! Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, even he's, like, not that cool with this. <laughs> like, he doesn't look cool with this at all. Nah, he, he looks pretty rough, dude. Yeah, like... Oh my lord. <laughs> Nagito is dead. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that in reality yet. I had to. I had to do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was more going for that one kid from Ghost Stories, but Paper Jam Dipper works too. Yes, I know. I know who you're going for. They just suddenly screams. It works so well. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Alright, I'm back on track. What's going on here? Is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? No, Akane, he likes being strung up like a Christmas tree with a, <laughs> with a pole impaled in him. I mean, it's Nagito, you know? No, no, she has a point. <laughs> That's right. It's Nagito. He always yeah. messed with us. He always... Good? Yeah. He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us. That's why... I can't believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. You know, even for me, this is pretty bad. <laughs> Nagito is dead. Uh-huh. Deep down, I believed that when the killing finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. I never expected I'd be looking at Nagito's body like this. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I couldn't help seeing it in this dead, frightened face. That's honestly what gets me the most. Yeah, his is like freaked out. Like, even yeah. he's freaked out. 
Like, what on uh, God's green earth? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I do know, but still. Yeah. <laughs> but, on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. And Nagito couldn't escape that truth. But even something as small as that... Ding dong dong ding... It changes, dude. Ding dong dong ding... Wait, what? <laughs> what the? Ding, ding dong dong ding. Ding dong dong ding. Ding dong ding. Ding dong ding ding dong. Did I ever show you that thing that's like <laughs> that one guy typing just the word egu into translator over and over and over and it just translates the most ridiculous shit? I don't know. Where it's like he's on Google Translate, he's like, I will now type Egu into Google Translate. And he goes, eh, Egu. <laughs> and it is the searing egg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and think now you I will type Egu again. Egu. And now it is deceiving the searing egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds familiar. <laughs> that one's so funny. <laughs> Okay, sorry. That's right. The body discovery. The body discovery announcement. Three, then it's for real. What? <laughs> then Nagito really is dead. Sixu. I mean, it's not, it's not wrong, man. <laughs> <laughs> Killed? So that! Man, that one was long. <laughs> Did something to say there. Yeah. One of us killed Nagito? One of us killed him so brutally? <laughs> then it's going to start again. Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, right? Then. Machino! Yep, we gotta do it. We gotta find out who's Nagi who Nagito's killer is. Nah, nah. Oh my god. <laughs> no matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? Pita! And the time for action is now. So, allow me to give you the familiar Monokuma fight. Mickey! Hold it right there! Kura! What? Don't get in my way like that. I was about to whip out the Monokuma fight in such a cool way. Kura! I can't stand this anymore! How much longer are you going to keep putting them through this? No more! I won't like you! I'll make sure I pulverize your evil intentions! Yay, yay! Say something! Oya, oya. Oh, now I remember who you are. You're Monomi. You just now noticed? Yeah, you anyway, that. Monomi, if you're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? Hui. Huh? What are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know. <laughs> what? No fair! You're shutting up too! <laughs> enough already! We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please, do not say anything else that will confuse us. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Hui. Huh? But, but... <laughs> I mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as the killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't even prevent it. Ah. Uh... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Looks like you kids are way more well behaved than Monomi. Is that good enough? Don't fuck with me. We're tired of this too, you know. That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. Ah. Does that mean you guys are getting bored of this school trip? Don't worry. The end is near. Huh? The end? Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You've already noticed it, right? The meaning behind that Monokuma timer? Um, I guess there's only two days left, right? When the timer reaches zero, two days from now, what will happen to us? Mm hmm? Hmm? The killing skill trip will be over. Oi, oi. Please speak! Look out, Ketro, behind you! <laughs> Look out, Ketro, behind you! <laughs> Look out, Ketro, behind you! <laughs> hey, that was... <laughs> Don't count your bears before they've hatched. There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So, once again. Alright, the Monokuma file! You guys need to find out who Nagito's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterword at all. Come back, Kenya. Okay. Do your best. Mati! Hold on! I won't let you escape this time. Wait right there! Oh. Where's the damn cat? Where's the damn cat? <laughs> Ketro, what are you retarded? Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 Can't you want to hear me? Demone. Kazuichi. I understand how you feel. But we need to focus on Nag Nagito's case first. So... Even if we can't go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. Well, shoot! And let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so we can all go back home. This is... It is nice to think everyone can go home, but... That is impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. There's a killer among us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito? Because his death was so abnormally cruel? No, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. Whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. Oh yeah! Now, Can you like just turn up the music? I'm turning like, this five up. You got it. You got it. Like this song is so fucking good, dude. This is so freaking sick. <laughs> Yeah, this song's amazing. I remember when I got here, I was like, Whoa, shit! It's on, boys! <laughs> Are we good? Yeah. The victim is Nagito Komaeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. He's 5'9", only 143? Jeez, dude. He's a skinny... He, he's anorexic. Yeah. <laughs> The estimated time of death is believed to be noon. Wait, really? Okay. But everyone was with us. That no, that means everyone was with us. Hmm. So some kind of contraption again, like the last case? I guess so. Good lord. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Good God! 
Furthermore, there is a laceration in his left arm and a knife impaled through his hand. What a tragic situation. Just reading this is making me depressed. Ah, uh, it's such a bitch, isn't it? What <laughs> is it? Is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? Hmm? Again? But what's wrong with it? Not only is there a spear stabbed in his, in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a last search on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Mm. Mm. It's definitely weird. Mm. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation is for. What are you talking about? Don't worry or form conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. Mm. We can discuss it later. Right now, I have a chance to investigate. So we should investigate first. Hold on. If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Then let's start with the area surrounding Nagito's body. I should start with the back of the warehouse. The curtain blocked most of the water. This area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Maybe the killer knew that. Oh yeah, maybe the sprinklers can get to it or something. But he's not like he's not burned or anything. Maybe no, yeah, that's know. what I'm saying. Like maybe the killer wanted it that way. Mm, possibly. Thanks to that, I can properly investigate Nagito's body. I. Never thought I'd have to investigate Nagito's body. Well, now's your chance, big boy. <laughs> you really just, like, really want to keep doing Nagito? <laughs> I think at this point he's just, like, kind of like a ghost. Yeah, he's like the spirit is injected into the Danganronpa sleeve at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you probably didn't expect to end up like this either. Uh, wow, there is some weird... Okay, there's a lot of shit going on here. Okay, well... Monokuma's dead! There's blood coming out of his stomach! Hey! No response. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not dead. Is this... One of the life-size plushies that were being produced at the factory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're mistaken a plushie for me, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal too. Oh, yeah. Don't put oversized garbage there! It's so misleading! What are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Then why'd he do it? Making a hole like it got stabbed and going to the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood. Did he try to imitate Nagino's body or something? I had nothing to do with that. Huh? He, he's probably lying. Seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like that plushie over there. I think it is a contraption. You see the little rope coming from the top of that spear? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You seem more pissed than usual these days, Monami. But you better watch what you say. Boop, boop, boop. If I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know? I won't give in to your friends. I'll fight you until the very end. I will definitely take back the seat of world supremacy from Monokuma! Looks like those annoyances are gone. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, then who did... Could the killer have done this? If so, is this... Nagito's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. Okay, so 
pull if it wasn't Okay, so technically Okay, so Nagito would have died Oh no, because it went it, start, it God, when was it noon? When we went into the thing or like a little after the fireworks? Either way, everyone was with us. Um, I don't know. Do you think we'll get a timeline maybe from one of the accounts? Well, this is what I'm thinking, like... I think... The Monokuma plushie was originally on top of Nagito's chest to prevent blood spatter. Why? I just know that, like... Don't ask me how I know this. When you stab someone and you put maybe you put like a pillow above their body, it reduces blood spatter. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't ask me I, how I know I this. I won't. I won't ask you how you know this, but I have a second follow-up question. Why would you want to? Why would you want to do that? That's a that's a, that's a thing. Like if that's the case, the killer would still have to be there. Because the Monokuma plushie was like thrown a distance away from Nagito's body. Not a contraption that was placed so that when they stabbed him, they wouldn't get blood on them. Yeah, but... Well, we don't know if it's a contraption, so... Yeah. I, I see. I, I get it. But it, I think it was used to reduce blood spatter. Well... He was dead at 12 noon, they said, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't remember when that was. Because everyone was near here. So I, I don't remember what was going sure. on. I don't remember what was going on, but I don't think it would be that hard to walk away from the bombs while things were going crazy and then walk back. Because it's like, say, say it was like after the bomb's fireworks went off and we're all like, what's going on? I don't think it was. It would have to be before. There's no okay. way it could be after. Okay. Well, I don't... I don't remember what time that is, but we're gonna... I think we need yeah. more information. Yeah. I don't... I don't have enough. I don't remember. I'm also just... I'm theorizing that, like... Well, no, they wouldn't be stab wounds, they would be... I was wondering if Nagito was trying to just, like... If that was, like, a knife that Nagito got. And he was trying to cut himself free. But, like... Literally cut out... Or, like, amputate himself. But those are, but those are stab wounds, not slices. True. Um... I think that... All the all the wounds happened after the tying up, I imagine. Oh yeah, he was tortured. Yeah. So more here's here's a theory that I currently have. I mean just like just want to throw out there. Um what if the killer did did a bunch of things and he just bled out? Like so he died at twelve, but he was going to die before this. Okay, yeah. Because you can still be alive and you could take a long time to bleed out. Yeah, I... Yeah, that's true. Like, you could just leave them after that. Yeah. Just throw that out there. Yeah. I never expected Nagito to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. Mm, I'd say this is about right. Also, he wasn't completely useless. There were times we were only able to reach the truth because of him. Yeah, I was carrying the team. Let's just face it. Yeah, that's not, not wrong, though. But everything good and bad about him is gone. We'll never be confused by him again. I'll never be saved by him again. Now, now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. 
I'm... For now, I need to investigate everything about this body that catches my eye. A spear with a flashy ornament ornament on it is impaled deeply in a Nagito's stomach. Ooh. There's no way around it. Looks like that's the fatal wound. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh my, what's... I know where the spear's from. Where? It's from the castle. It is? What? It's from Nazumi Castle. I remember there being weapons up on the wall. But there were only three of them. And hey, call me crazy, but three is just a weird aesthetic. What? <laughs> and, I'm, and I was wondering at the time, is one missing or not? But we never investigated it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. We'll look. I don't know. I mean, we'll it's see. not. It's it's not two weeks ago this time, it's only a day ago, so there's that, but this is the most minor of details, but whatever it is. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh my, what's this? Such a strange looking spear, isn't it? The cord extends from the tip of the handle, and there's an iron weight attached to it. Oh, it is a contraption. I see, I see. So you use the cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? Uh, of course not. Um, this is the spear of Gungnir, right? You definitely just came up with that right now. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? I feel like I saw it in Nezumi Castle. God damn it, Cory. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I didn't even see that. What the hell, dude? Nanto. What? Nezumi Castle? Nante gotta. I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn you, mice. Damn you all to hell! <laughs> okay. <laughs> see. Even he doesn't know what's inside that castle. I think that was a Planet of the Apes reference. What <laughs> is it, really? It might be. <laughs> you blew it up and left us here to die! Damn you! Damn you all to hell! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've never seen that. Well, more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle... It looks like that part has blood on it, too. But for some reason, this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Because the killer was holding that, and maybe beating him with it. <laughs> Ouch. Don't ask me how I might know this. <laughs> Corey? Yeah? Do we need to have a talk? You know, I... Honestly, I... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it's we do need to have a talk. I mean, maybe we do need to have a talk. Ooh, <laughs> it's a good thing I got out of there. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna be close enough for you to kill me ever again. Do I? <laughs> it's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Also, Chiaki mentioned this earlier, but apparently that spear came from Nezumi Castle. It might be better if I confirm that later. Spear of Gungnir. Is that... <clears throat> ah, yes. Feet. Feet. <laughs> that's... yes. Yeah, that hitbox. <laughs> Both of Nagito's legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to the Monokuma file, the wounds on his legs are all stab wounds. Yeah, so whoever was doing this was torturing him to get information. Probably for the bombs? Yeah. Does that mean the killer didn't just tie up Nagito? They also stabbed his leg? Why would the killer do something like that? So. At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. Kelly must have been holding a grudge toward him. 
or they might have been torturing him. Torture? Huh? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? If you disregard the spear in his chest, the other wood were inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nagito's body were for the killer torturing him? If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nagito confess? Was it something that would have led to the traitor? <laughs> but even if, if this was torture, there's no doubt the killer must have hold, held a deep grudge towards Nagito. <laughs> Refusing to let him die easily. I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. But even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? <sighs> Since they ran out of thigh space... <laughs> what? And Since they ran out of thigh sp of leg space, they went to his arm. <laughs> They <laughs> just kept going. Yeah. Man. There's a cut on his upper left arm. His leg and his right hand have a stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. That's probably the reason that the wound on his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to the other wounds. Well, regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> There's something strange. Strange? What? Oops. We're good. Hold on. Look at the palm of his left hand. I think that blood is from this one his life guard in the slice, though. Doesn't the blood splatter look strange? It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it was splattered. It well, that would explain the blood on his palm, but... Wait, where was this? The palm on his left hand. So the arm that was sliced. His like wait, his right? Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, upper left arm. Okay. Hmm? There's something else that's strange? And then you flip it over and look at the back of his hand. Here, yeah, there is also blood, but only above the middle joint of each finger. Huh? You're right. Why is it only on this part? Was he holding something? Even if you were holding something, it should have gone on the back of your hand. No, not if you're holding it like a knife. What? Um... Okay, let's see if I can... Oh! No, 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 I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, if he's putting his hand on the ground and holding the knife. Yeah, like this. Yeah, yes. Got it. Yeah. I get it. Yes. I understand now. What on him? See? It's just as I said, right? It's strange, right? Oh, yeah. I win. Yeah, sure. You win. But it's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? I think that knife was originally... Wait, no? Cause... I was gonna say, maybe, like, the knife in his right hand was originally in his left hand, but wouldn't... Oh, but the rope was burnt. I was gonna say, wouldn't he just use the... Like, if he got cut free from this... Wouldn't he just... Um... Probably just use this hand... 
and reach over to cut that. Yeah. But I didn't see that this rope was burnt. I thought oh, this was, interesting. I, I thought like he broke free. Oh. Uh, Nagito's right wrist is tied with rope. But it looks like the tip of that rope burned off. Could this be a result of the fire? But that's weird. If the rope is burned off like this... Why are Nagito's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he's so close to the blade? The knife is stabbed through Nagito's right hand. Yeah, that didn't really feel good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it does not look it, dude. Did the killer do this? How could they do something so cool? I know. This knife. It must be from the military base. We yeah, it's a combat Sonya's knife. Account. We need Sonya's account, by the way. Yeah, we do. Military base? Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. It looks like a survival knife. Yeah. By the way, see the wounds on his legs and his left side were caused by that same knife. Which means, after the killer was finished stabbing Nagi Nagito's legs and left arm, they stabbed the knife through his right hand. Masaka. And then they finished him off with the spear. How cruel! Then, does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons? A knife and a spear? But they could have just killed him by stabbing him with a knife. Why do they need to use the spear at all? That is definitely strange. Is there a reason they had to use it? A reason they had to use the spear, huh? Is there still more? Oh yeah, we gotta check oh, that. Oh yeah, tape. yeah. He must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. It wasn't my brightest day in the park. <laughs> his mouth is covered with duct tape. Was this to keep Nagito from screaming for help? Ah, oh, I didn't have it ready. Jeez, what a horrible look on his face! The blood splattered all over, it sure doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to look at him. Oh, uh, God, a minute. Sorry, excuse me. Chiaki moved past Kazuichi and me, squatted next to Nagito's face. And in one swift movement, movement she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. Yeah, that mm, that that was not a, that was not a fun time. <laughs> it does not look it, dude. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It will be fine. I'll put it back right away if I'm done investigating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is it. Blood on Nagito's face. It looks like it must have came from the place that. On his left arm. Hmm. If that's the case. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, now we'll never find out who the ghost is. I hope to God you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope to, I hope to God you're adopted. <laughs> 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 hey, a bunch of blood splattered on his face. There's no blood on the duct tape. Makes sense. He was already duct taped before the killing blow was there. Yeah, I guess that's uh -huh. You! What do you want? Thanks a lot, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the, what what the fuck with that kid, dude? <laughs> <laughs> this duct tape has crinkles. Like he was sticking towards the inside of his mouth, right? 
Nagito was probably desperately moving his mouth on the dusting. Yeah, he's probably trying to get it out. Ah! Seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got those wounds all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is that something we really need to be worried about? Ah, uh, I don't really get it. Let's just slap the duct tape back on his mouth already. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue too. I should remember it. Ah! <laughs> Big yikes. Um, I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagito's body. Jeez, I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. Even though I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? Ah, uh, first time? Not anymore. <laughs> Memories. My classmate's dead body is right in front of me. One of my peers is the killer responsible. I have to investigate his death so I can find the killer. Am I used to something as normal as that? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too. Just like me. Spirit of Nagita lives on. I can't let it die. <laughs> yeah, hearty. If only everyone could go home. Nothing would make me happier. No. We need to, we should finish the class trial. And then we can think about what will happen after. Okay. Okay, thanks for that. I can't tell you very helpful. Well. Huh? Lighter. Lighter. Uh, this is... It's an oil lighter. This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. The oil lighter was placed here. Nante. Ah, an oil lighter. Someone probably wanted to keep warm. It's the most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the fire. Oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. So, using that, the curtain was set on fire. Using the oil lighter, huh? Do you think the killer set up some sort of trip? with it? Dashikani. The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting this warehouse on fire. They caused the fire to destroy evidence? That's the only reason I can think of why a killer would set fire to their crime scene, but... They would have had to know about a curtain surrounding... Uh, can we not have to get the curtain? No? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of plastic bottles. Remnants of plastic are scattered all over the place. This is probably... Someone filled it with gasoline, for sure. Those fire grenades that we used to put out the fire. Well, they weren't actually all that useful in the end. fire was only extinguished thanks to the sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, this evidence really isn't all that strange. Uh... Sure, why not? It... Ugh. It mattered for Gundam's killing and for Mekon's. But it looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What does it matter? Dagara. The time! Looks like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file. The time of death was noon sharp. If it was at noon, what were we doing at that time? Thank you, God. Mm, mm, what were we doing? Well, right now it's... It's 12.30 p.m. Time for you to buy Disney Plus. So it also has a clock function, and an advertising function. 
Then that means Nagito died 30 minutes ago. <laughs> huh? It happened that recently? He's totally a fresh kill. Fresh seems like a bad way to describe it. No, no. She's got a point. <laughs> um, if it happened 30 minutes ago, was it around the time we were struggling with the bombs? You're right. Those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon. Well, shoot! Which means whoever which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is Nagito's killer. And we're back to Sonya. <laughs> Sonya was the only one, that is true. Wait, was she not No, she joined us? When she did she came... join us? Oh no, she Yeah, she joined us when the fireworks went off. Yeah. But right when the fireworks went off. That's true. Mm. But this could only be like when Nekamaro died. The killer coos used some kind of automatic setup. Also, the crime looks very detailed, so they would have needed time to repair. What if Nagito helped to kill himself? <laughs> He's coming back from the grave to fuck with all of <laughs> You know me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like the rest of the first case where Nagito gets tied up. No, this, yeah, the second case where Nagito gets tied up. Or we're like, well, what if Nagito did something anyway? Yeah. <laughs> he did. He did help, even though he was fucking tied up just by, like, talking to, I think it's Fuyuhiko, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's like, now he, it's he like, like the game. He, like, instigated it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, now the game's like, even he's dead. But he's still the king. He's yeah, still the one who fucked with it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, possibly. Yeah. Who knows? Well, also, oh, sorry. Oh, whatever. I didn't know you didn't read that. No, I did. I did read it. Oh. I, I read it. Then I whoever, just... then whoever, then whoever doesn't have an alibi before we found the bombs is suspicious. Hmm? Wait, none of us have an alibi for that time. That's when we all split up to search for the bombs. Oh. Oh. Thank you. That explains so much. Okay, I was I, I did not have a time. Of, okay, so then we were all split up, so anyone could have just came in, found Nagito, and was already torturing him, and then just stabbed him because they didn't tell. So it's okay, that's great. Cool. And those awesome. like I feel like those likely suspects were free Hika because he was discovering that he island heard. anyway, and Sonya because she was on that island for some reason. Yeah, but it could have been anyone else, too. We found Chiaki, so probably not Chiaki, but I think that's it. Yeah. It could be, for, it could be Fuyuhiko, it could be... Sonya. Sonya and it, it, it could be Katsuichi, too. We didn't see him either. Yeah. Uh, can we talk? Um, okay. Yeah, hurry. Are you happier? No, you What were you doing? Girl! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not freaking out about it like Kazuichi, but I definitely can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Accurate, though. When the Monokuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's gonna happen? Yeah, what's gonna happen? Huh? Huh? What's gonna happen? <laughs> this rotten school trip's gonna end, right? We can finally go home! Carefree till the end. Does that mean you don't think that'll happen? Man. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Oi, oi. <laughs> He's making us kill each other, you know? Why do I make a little you love me? It's out of control, dude. Mm. I don't know. But this is Monokuma we're talking about, you know? No way this will end smoothly without a countdown. With, with the countdown. I, I can get my lines right. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Like you said before, if we screw up here, it's the end for us. For now, let's focus on the investigation. Think about the countdown. After we live through the cross trial. Yeah, I know. Oh my nah. Then don't bring up strange stuff like that. Um uh, We haven't talked to Chiaki. Yeah. Hmm. 
She looks like she's deep in thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange about this? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Yeah, I mean, that's gotta be where the spear dropped from. Ooh. Yeah, about that sprinkler. That's one of the sprinkler heads that activated to put out the fire. Anone? You can see a girder right next to it, right? There. Hora. Can you see that red streak? Blood? Oh, that's the missing spot on the near the counterweight. Oh. Well, that's weird, though. Yeah. But how did the blood get on get on the whole thing in the first place? Yeah. Huh? You're right. I definitely see it. it looks like a small red line on the ceiling girder. Is that blood? Blood? The color definitely looks like blood. But there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's in a straight line. Mm. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. I should remember this. Now then, I guess that's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagito. There should have been another reason as well. If not, they wouldn't have gone to the trouble of tying him up with a rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, there's no reason to inflict any wounds other than the fatal one. So, what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate other areas to figure that out. Alright, I should try investigating the other areas inside this warehouse first. So, let's see, where do we need to go? The Monokuma plushie back? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey! This is an mp3 player. There's even a speaker plugged into it. Ah oh, yeah, this is my shit. That's my jam, boys! <laughs> it's like the... It's the, um... Uh, do you want it? Here, here's the ox table, but don't play any shit! <laughs> and then, uh, well, I don't, I forget how that goes. Oh I'm yeah, like... don't play any weird, don't play any weird stuff. Me. <laughs> Wait, I, I have the fog actually, hold on. Okay. I, I have, apparently it's on my iPod. That's Don't amazing. It. I, I, I downloaded a lot of the Dongon Ron Puchy soundtrack actually. It's like, not, not you, so wait, say the line again. Alright, alright, right, he can have the ox cable. Don't play any weird shit. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why I have that song, but I have a lot of it, so whatever. Alright. But why is this here? Maybe. Yes, Hajime Hanada definitely said that. Looks like that weird music was playing from there. <sighs> you know, that music was blaring when the fire started. Yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, yeah, that's my shit. Aw, oh, yeah, that's my jam. <laughs> looks like it. Looks like it bugs you from getting drenched by the sprinklers. There's no mistake in it. That music was played from the MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but... Why was the killer playing music from that? Also, why is it pink? <laughs> It's cute, man. I know, but... I like cute things, okay? What's wrong with that? <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait, wait a minute here. <laughs> His ghost is infecting both of us! Oh no! <laughs> all these CDs, they're all copies of Monokuma's music. These should have been burned, too. Uh, is there... 
sprinklers. No? Okay. Can we talk to Sonya now, finally? Uh... Beep, beep, no. Beep, no, we beep. cannot, apparently. 